Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Hope everybody has having a uh, a good day, good week. Get my glasses straight. All right, what's going on, man? My name is Mike Thompson. I'm here to sculpt stuff. Uh, let's get right down to it. So, um, what I was working on a few weeks ago or a few streams ago was this Captain Marvel zombie that um, I always wanted to do from the comic book, not so much from What If, and then I saw What If and got kind of hyped, and I saw my friend Ian, uh, IR Sculpts, do his version, got him more hyped, and I was like, all right, let me do this thing. So I pulled some reference, right? Like, this is what he looks like in the comic, and there's actually little baby birds in his head. So uh, I'm going to do that in mine as well. I got some Walking Dead reference. This stuff is a little scary. So uh, <laughs> I'm probably going to keep this on the other screen. But um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I also started a long time ago a Captain Marvel zombie thing uh, and then just kind of gave up on it. So I have all the zombie ref on one board. Anyway, that being said, what's up, Lee? So Robert, Kian, Amit, how are you guys doing? All right, so that being said, let's go to ZBrush. All right, I'm gonna take these down. If the level of the music gets loud, just let me know. Nacho, what's up? Hey, uh, Pedrag. Okay, um, so this is kind of what I had the last time with you guys. Um, it was, uh, I'm just gonna take these off because I'm hot, hot now. Um, so yeah, he's kind of getting sliced in half and uh, I want to have him looking like, um, like, uh, kind of like this, right? So I did this sketch and then, or this, you know, this pose and then, uh, you know, kind of drew over it, the, the gear and all that stuff. So if I go over here, I have him in a more compelling pose, right? Uh, what's up, Gustavo? Um, and then if I step up on everything, all high, high. All right, so this is what I have so far on this dude. Um, it's getting there, it's getting there. And I kind of changed my mind. Originally I was gonna do this as like a stylus holder, but um, I don't, think so I think just gonna do it as a regular like desktop sculpt you know whatever and uh, print it out on my on my 3d printer so that being said let's get down to it um, I completely redid my interface um, I don't know if you guys can see this but uh, I really liked what uh, Pedro did on his, uh, he did a, a video where he kind of showed all the features, the new features of 27 or 20, 21.7. Uh, so I made that uh, hotkey as well. Let's see if I can get it to work here. Yeah, so like I have all the new poly group by poly paint or poly paint and knife brushes and bevel brushes, all that stuff here. So if I use them, I know where they are. All right. All right, so let's get back to it, man. I'm just gonna be detailing stuff. Um, like I said, these zombies are kind of gross, so I'm gonna keep them on one screen and I'm gonna work on my dude on this screen. What printer I'm using? I'm using the Anycubic back there. And uh, it's the Photon Mono X. I also have the Big Boy Wash and Cure over there as well, so that's what I'm All right. So, I just kind of comped in what I want his, you know, proportions to look like and his skull and all that. So I'm going to be damaging all that to probably in a bit. I just want to figure out exactly how I want this guy to roll, but I think I'm going to work on his head today. So what I'll do is make a, make like a couple screen grabs here of uh, the dude. And there was a, so I used to like Walking Dead a lot. Right? I used to read all the comics and um, or the graphic novels. And I also watched the show 
And then it kind of jumped the shark a little bit for me. So um, I gave up on it. Um, but there was a scene in season one where there's a walk around the ground and she's like all messed up from the back and uh, reaching up towards you. And I wanted it to feel kind of like that. But so anyway, uh, just got my Halo 3D printer and he keep me watching good plus it. Nice, nice, nice. Just got a photon base mesh with an extraction base mesh in the costume. Is this wait, is the all right, let me get all this Lee. Uh, first for the printers, yes, they're all dope. Uh, my last print, if you didn't see it before, is my um, Iron Fist. And the detail it kept is amazing. Like, let's see how about this foot. Like, it just kept everything. Um, so, and like even the, like even this stuff is dope. But yeah, these printers are amazing. I also have a, um, uh, filament printer that I use to print my Hulk. So if I do really big stuff, I'll probably use that. Like this is just his arm. But um, yeah, for the other, like for the small stuff, you can't beat, you can't beat resin. All right, let's get this out of here. Get out of the way. All right, so is that a base mesh with an extraction base mesh for the costume? I don't have anything on the costume yet. I just drew over, I sketched over just the proportions. I'm gonna be doing some extract to do the skin and costume today, probably. Um, is the detailed layer hollow? I don't know what that means, Lee. What you talking about? What you talking about? Oh, let's turn on live boolean too. Oh man, don't do that. Okay. Let's see if I can get these again. Heck on it. Anybody know why it does this? It's almost like a graphics card issue. Like I've got a really good graphics card, but I hate when it does. All right, I'm gonna have to do this as a, hold on a second, do. Let's do this. Do a render. I'm gonna have to get old school. So layer, bake, create a new one. T. All right, I only kind of want the dude, so let's hide the shield and the base and the nasty guts. Let's turn those off. All right, cool. Screen grab of you know, or not a screen grab, but a render of him. All right, layer, bake, create. All right, and now I'll work on this one. So if I step down to the lowest sub D level, you can see that I have this guy kind of poly grouped out the way I want. And originally the way I did this was I just used my Dynamesh, which I never use Dynamesh, you guys, for real. But I was like, let me use Dynamesh and play around with it. And I just kind of really, you know, what do they call it? Brute forced in the, the proportions. So we look sloppy, right? Let me load that and I'll show it to you. So if I come over to this one and uh, turn off the, let's turn off that and go to this. Is this the one? Yeah, so everything is kind of like uh, wobbly, sloppy, right? But if I go over to the new one, you can see that if I step up, I have really nice subdivisions. And if I step up, everything is clean, right? And that's just um, Z remeshing and resculpting in things. All right. Oh, the brain head thing threw me off. Yeah, no, so for that, I just uh, kind of selected the, um, um, selected it and kind of pushed it in a little bit. So that's all that was. Now he looks like an old man looking for his teeth. Cool, 
So this is all kind of face right now that I'm gonna be doing here. Off solo. And if anybody's wondering, I, it's already kind of out of symmetry. I was gonna use posable symmetry, but then I did some stuff that uh, I wanted that arm to really be twisted and brought up. And when I did that, it got real messy um, on his pectoral muscle and his back. So I just uh, dynameshed the crap out of it and of course lost my posable symmetry. All right, let's see, what did I miss? Could be driver, seems like a typical restoration. I never had that. Really, it happens to me all the time. Yeah, Emery Lee. Emery Lee knows what I'm talking about. Hey, what's up, France? What's up, JDVL? What's up, Erm? The character would immediately dynamic pose. Some parts, so just fake it. All right, so I don't normally do medieval type of people, but um, there's a Stylus League episode that I did a while back with Danny that um, I I made the guy from um, Ghouls and Ghosts, Arthur, uh, and I made him in armor, um, and I pretty much did it the same way that I'm gonna do this guy, which is just sculpt it up, Z remesh, clean up the forms and use uh, Z-Modeler where I can. So I think what I'm gonna do is, let's add a end. No, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's do this, take this thing. And um, delete lower. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, it's in recording mode. I don't want that. So go to layers. Up. So this is the thing, it's a nice day outside and I live in a complex that has like a lot of young cats. So I'm gonna sound like real old crotchety dude right now, but they kind of park their cars and turn up their shit as loud as possible and it annoys me. So if you hear that in the background, it's my neighbors. Hey, Mari Cat. Um, w. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just delete hidden there you go yeah, I can't stand these dudes <laughs> let me know if you can hear this music it sucks all right uh, geometry easy remesh All right, let's see what I missed. Uh, Jojoba, Yehoba, what's up, man? Sergio, great work, congrats from Colombia. Hey, what's going on, Colombia? I love Colombia. Oh, 
how long does a piece like this take you? Um, this one probably, uh, I don't know, like four or five days. Um, I'm gonna half this one more time. What's up, Volvo? Hey, and and Doy. All right, almost there. Almost there. So if you're wondering what this is going to be, I'm just want to Z remesh this a little bit. I'm going to give it some thickness. Delete hidden. Uh, turn off double. And uh, maybe I don't really care about the detail, so I'm gonna Z remesh one more time, half it. Just high poly. Uh, what you talking about? All right, and then I'm gonna give this some thickness with Z modeler. See, extrude all polygons like that. Just thicken it up. All right, so this is gonna be my face here. So if I turn off solo, now I have something that I can kind of sculpt on. And in fact, I'm gonna kind of push it, uh, push this back through. I'll just pull it out where I need it. Uh, let's give it some color too. So actually I'll grab this guy. Let's give him some color. So I figured it'd be a good idea to try to get a jump on this before Halloween. Um, oh, uh, so you might notice a new brush in my arsenal here called the Eric Sosa brush. And that brush is actually because if you've been keeping up with Stylus League, you'd know we have Eric Sosa as a guest. We've had him for the past couple of weeks and tomorrow will be our last stream with him. But uh, Eric is a beast, I'm a longtime fan of his, and he was nice enough to show a bunch of tips in the last Stylus League stream. We're working on Cthulhu. Um, and uh, I, got, um, I got the brush he kind of uses to make his muscles and stuff, so that was pretty cool. So I've been using it on this guy. Saves a lot of time. So if you haven't already, go to uh, Stylus League on YouTube and check out that. We've had Mike Pavlovich, we've had Redbeard. We have good guests. We got uh, IR Sculpts coming up soon and uh, another guest I'll talk about a little later. You guys let me know if it if you're grossed out by zombies <laughs> tell me i want to bring this on my screen because it's it's a dope reference but i'm not trying to freak anybody out anybody out
So at the end of the day, this is going to be Captain America, you guys, if you're wondering. From the Marvel Zombies, Captain America. Not the one from What If, which was a cool, which was a very cool uh, episode. One of my favorites, because I love the Marvel Zombies, like I said before. But um, this is going to be a little more realistic. You guys know me. I'm going to go kind of hard with this guy. Plenty gross when I'm done. So I think because this one is, um, yeah, I think because this one is, I'm figuring out as I sculpt, I'm gonna Dynamesh this and use Sculptures Pro. And then that way I don't have to worry about topology. What I miss here? What's your favorite feature of 2021.7 so far? Um, probably, I know if I can ever get it to work right, Stager is going to be my favorite, but for right now, I like the, um, I really like the, uh, the knife brushes and the masking tools. Those are pretty fresh. Uh, da, 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 da. Sheep Nerfer, what's up? Thank you very much. Um, thanks, Kuro. Spoiler guest. Yeah, so Lee, what we're doing now is um, rather than saving the uh, the guest as like surprising, surprising, what do you call them? Uh, surprises, I guess is what people call them. We're going to call them out early to get people excited. So we got some big players coming up, talking to some, some, some cats that are also amazing comic book artists that are not necessarily sculptors so if there's anybody in here that is a 2d artist or just loves comic books in general i have some friends that have worked on worked on some big popular books and uh they're gonna come on as well all right also gonna reach out if she's watching i hope she's watching today i'm also gonna reach out to ashley see if i can get her interested in coming on because i'm a giant fan of ashley adams uh, so Anyway, yeah, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. All right, so now let's solo this out. And uh, let's see, no, I'm going to divide, delete lower. And now I'm going to use Sculptors Pro and just go hard on this guy. Hey, hello. Hey, I want to become famous. Tell me more, bigfollows.com. Sure you are a complete real person. I want to know more. Yeah, her way of sculpting is dope. Yeah, yeah, Ashley's Ashley's a beast. Um, oh, all right. Let's hide everything but the face. Because I don't need all of this showing. So I'm not really a giant creature guy. Um, I like them, but I don't do a whole lot of sculpting. I'm more of a, you guys know, I'm more of like a superhero -y dude. So when Marvel Zombies came out, I do like horror movies though, which is like, that's just facts. So when, um, when the Marvel Zombies came out, I was like, ah, oh, dude, this is like the best of both worlds. Very cool. Actually, oh, skin doesn't go over the mouth like that. What am I doing? It's not how skin goes. Oh, I must have subdivision levels on here, do I? No, I don't have sculptures for a turn. Yeah, go. Now we're cooking. Ash is always looking. I hope so. Ashley, if you're around, what's up? I'm going to reach out to you today about coming on Stylus League. Please. Please and thank you.
So I bought some zombie brushes too, like some nasty gnarly skin, which I'll be messing around with, but I, I just want to play around, try to find some forms, I think, before I do anything else. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, ZBrush is one of those things that is, uh, for me, is a nice little stress reliever. I like to just hop in there and play around. Well, never gets old. And now I have students in my uh, CG Spectrum class that are taking the um, the course that uh, that I developed that, that uses Core. So I did a um, what's it called did a Thanos kind of time lapse thing for YouTube that kind of shows that you can do some dope stuff in uh, in Core as well as the full version if you're not ready to plunk down all the money yet. Got some uh, new Pablo Munez brushes that I'm gonna play around with too. As soon as I start to figure out what I want to do here, this is like just a sketch phase, figuring out, you know, what this should look like. Believe it or not, never sculpted a zombie before. Well, I just lied. No, I did. I tried to sculpt one with the Marvel um, Captain Marvel, and uh, never got past the sketch phase. So. Never finished a zombie sketch before. Let's put that. So deep, what's up? And Maya stoked to get back in Izzy Brush. Nice. What's up, Raphael? Can I have the keyboard in your screen, please? The keyboard? What you talking about, Lucas? Um, hey, I'm doing fine. How you doing, man? Uh, a lot of work. Nah, not really. Uh...
You know what, rather than do that, I think what I'm going to do, let's do this. Let's make some curved tubes. I want to get some of these nasty kind of like sinewy strips of flesh on here. So I'm just drawing some strips. Maybe one for the nose. Yeah, that's gross. I like that. My other screen is just completely terrible, you guys. It's nasty. Alright, so now I will... Wait, did I accept any of these? I didn't. There's one. Oh yeah, I did. Alright, so I'm gonna solo this out. But hidden. He's a mast. Explains it. I'm gonna make this a little less dense, and then when I move these points around, it's not gonna be as uh, close to the skin. I want it to kind of stand up off the skin, actually. Give these some thickness. Extrude, let's say, polygroup ball. Okay, and then uh, let's auto group these. I put auto group down here. Oh, there it is. Okay.
Maybe this would be like a no, grab a gross piece of like loose flesh or something here. Apologies to my streaming buddy Brad Lee. Uh, he is uh, he's not okay with scary movies and he doesn't like scary subject matter. So Bradley, if you're watching this, I apologize in advance. Also, I watched Candyman, um, and it was dope. Bradley's also scared of Candyman. <clears throat> oh. Don't say that. Definitely don't say it five times around Bradley. So let's see what this whole thing is looking like now. Um, do this. Gotta get the baby birds up in his in his head too, because that's my favorite part about the, the zombie cap. So those baby birds. Uh, you can see in this picture. Look at that. You know what? Let's make those now. That'd be fun. <clears throat> let's get those baby birds in a mix. All right. Let's see. What did I miss? Hey, thanks, Loki. Yeah, Erm, uh, I got the Geiger brushes, and then he has some other kind of dual action brushes that are dope. Um, those are cool too. Zombie cap. Uh, yeah, it's it's the zombie cap from the comic book, not from What If. This guy. Oh, about to make me some baby birds. Let's get some here. Reference. <laughs> These are nice. Okay, give on a ref. This would be a good opportunity to use some of those, um, the new brushes from 2017, actually. This out of the way. Mm 
what, I'm gonna keep this in symmetry for now. this a lot so make sure I'm doing it right. Symmetry. So if you haven't watched the uh, the videos that Mike Pavlovich has put up for the new brushes in 0.1 or 0.7, what are we on now? 0 0.7, 0 0.1. Um, watch those. He knows way more about these new brushes than I do. Um, but I just uh, kind of have been learning the stuff that I need to, to get by, I think. how it is with all the releases, you know, it takes me a while to pick up everything.
All right, so this is basically how that Captain America got started. Like just a whole lot of really loose kind of strokes till I started to see what I wanted to do here. Let's turn that off, that's not good. Right now looking for the silhouette, because right now it's, uh, it's real suspect. Right, yeah, that's All right, so now that I have the form um, the way that I kind of want it, I'm going to Z remesh this. It's a little bit smaller here, actually. Might as well give him some body, too. And if I carve in these old man kind of like, you know, flaps of skin on the neck, then when I Z remesh it, it's going to uh, hold those forms a little better for me. I moved all my brushes around, so I don't know what I'm looking for now. It's funny. All right, so that kind of looks like a baby bird.
I'm not gonna sweat this. This is crazy. I'm thinking too much about this. All right, so now I'm just going to, let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's, oh man, I missed a lot of stuff. All right, uh, let's see. Maybe Captain Hydra. Mike, do you enjoy playing zombie games? Oh yeah, absolutely, 100%. Um, I can't get into Dying Light, but um, I don't know what Project Zomboid is. That sounds interesting. No, I'm, I've done, um, you know, the Resident Evil games. I'm a big fan of those. Uh, I like all that. But yeah, no, I, I definitely like zombie games and movies. Um, like I said, I used to really like Walking Dead. I feel like it kind of jumped the shark for me at some point. All right, so now you see how, you know, this is kind of warbly the surface here. This is why I get it as close to what I want to keep. And maybe what I'll do here is I'll, I'll grab my damn standard just to really get a, an edge on this mouth. And then I'll zoom in yesterday. Something like this. There you go. Um, yeah, and now I'll Z remesh it, and then I can clean up the forms. So right now they're a little suspect. Uh, so let's do this. Subtool geometry. Maybe I'll clone this first. So if we look at the mesh now, it's just kind of crazy. Um, I do really like how that brush gave me these poly groups that I can keep. So let's do this, group this. Let's kind of figure out some poly groups now. Uh, wait a minute, I don't want to do that. I'll do this. Right, and now, uh, detect edges, keep groups. Let's, um, turn down the thing to half, turn down smooth, and Z remesh. I'm telling you, these baby birds in the head are gonna be like the icing on the cake. All right, now that's not good. The inside of the mouth is kind of not so good. Let's run it again, see if it does any better. Um, sometimes when it does the stretching like that, I take the, um, the Sculptures Pro and just kind of clean it up, then do the Z remesh. Cause it gets these poles and things get kind of nasty. This one group and um, let's polish by features, polish by groups a little bit. Again. 
I'll hold it there. And now I can project my details back and divide. So project history, divide, get my details back here. So now the good thing about this is like, if I look on the inside of this mouth, it didn't project there because it was kind of out of the range of the projection. So I'll just fill that in and reproject. That should fix it. There you go. Let's call this baby bird. Delete this. Now what I can do is, yes, delete, turn on everything else. get him where he's supposed to be. Density a little bit. a lot of questions. Let me see what I missed here. Uh, da, 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 da. Can I get your playlist, the background music? Um, I just got that off of the um, DRM free um, music for YouTube. So I just grabbed a bunch of stuff that wasn't like crazy. Um, I don't know the names of everything though. The birds are also zombies. Oh my God, no. The humanity. How much ZBrush? Cost now perpetualized or something else. Uh, go to um, go to the Pixelogic site and uh, there's the um, there's the monthly or you can buy it outright. I, I don't remember exactly how much it is.
uh, Witcher process on seams and trim on hero costumes. It's funny you ask that. So last year for the summit, I did a tips and tricks and that was what mine was with seams and uh, stuff for superheroes. So if you kind of do a Google search, I think on the, um, I know it's on the Pixelogic page, YouTube, but if you just search for uh, Summit Tricks and my name, it should pop right up. See it there. Hey, what's up? Let's see. Please, please, guys. Hey, hi. Okay, what's up? EC. What program is this? Uh, this is ZBrush. ZBrush, ZBrush. How to pin the reference to the... Oh, okay. Uh, so this is a program called PureRef, P-U-R-R-E-F. Um, and uh, and that's, that's what I'm using here to keep the ref in place. So rather than doing this multiple times, I'm just going to do one good one and then duplicate him for his, for his brothers and sisters. His undead baby chicks. Would have been easier if I kept this in symmetry and did this first, but I didn't, so gotta say. tablet am I working on? I am on a uh, Wacom Cintiq Pro 32 inch right now. Thanks for being patient, guys. I know I'm like behind in the chat here. Hey, what's up, Ricardo in Brazil? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. IR, what's up? IR Sculpts did a very dope um, Captain America, the what if Captain America zombie 
that has been blowing up on the internet. So if you have not seen his video on that, check it out. It's pretty dope. Or I guess Uncle Jesse did the video of him printing it, but it was IR Sculpt. So the good thing about cutting in those lines with the damn standard is that now my topology follows that flow. So it's very easy for me just to kind of sculpt in some details there and and it doesn't, you know, give me a hard time as far as topology is concerned. All right, so I think, I think that's good enough. So you know what that means, now I gotta work on these brains. They need a good nest. I can't just have the birds just kind of sitting out there, y'all. I gotta, my brain's tight. All right. Okay, good enough. Bird done. Bird 
uh, for his top of his head. That's kind of gone, so it's glad I didn't sculpt in all the brains first, because that would have been messed up. Brain, not brains. Brain first. Let's just kind of flatten this out a little bit. For these uh, folder, rather, it's baby birds, duplicate this. Now I'm happy. I've been wanting to see these birds in here for a long time, you guys. For real. I'm very excited now that I have the birds. So this guy, not that guy. Let's go back. There you go. I'm liking that. Okay. All right, let's start to figure out the suit a little bit. And then I'll get back to the face a little later. Uh, maybe let's move these birds up a little bit. If you guys like this stuff and want to see more, um, like I said, you can check us out on the Stylus League on YouTube uh, tomorrow. We have, um, I think we're going to be on our 21st show tomorrow. We've got Eric Sosa uh, as a guest. And um, uh, next month we're going to have IR Sculpts um, working on getting some other 
uh, heavy hitters. We've had Pavlovich on as a guest for a month and uh, Redbeard. Um, I'm gunning for Ashley. I want to reach out to A Cubed and see if I can get her to come on with us. We need, uh, we need some women representing. And um, also, um, I do mentoring if anybody's interested in that. Hit me up on Instagram or whatever. All right, I like those birds. All right, let's see what I missed here. Hey, Mike Hallball as well. Cheers from Poland. What's up? Kazakhstan, nice. What's up, man? Mike, how to make feathers for the birds. Yeah, I ain't doing all that. I ain't doing all that. They're babies. They don't have birds. They don't have feathers yet. Um, I did get some cool wing brushes, though. Um, what is it? Art Station has a big sale going on, and there's some nice, um, like, fully sculpted wing. I did this project, like, two years ago for a, um, it was either for a game or a movie or something. But I had to sculpt these wings, and I hated it. So now I bought some nice wings. I don't have to do that again. Poland, what's up? Uh, da, 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 da. Sam Media, what's going on? How you doing? Thank you. Just started on ZBrush. Nice. Welcome. Uh, 800 USD. I don't know what that is. Uh, you don't check Twitch chat, uh, but you do stream on Twitch or only YouTube. No, no, no. Um, should be on everything, Sam. It's on everything. Carlos Santana said, what's up? What's up, man? Big fan. Any tips on how to do dynamic, cool posed hands? They're tough to do. So these will be good at some point. Right now, they're they're real soft. Uh, it seems like every time I do a stream, I end up on the hands. But just keep your topology low. Um, and then you can kind of pose them to make them do what you want them to do. Um, once they're in a really, like, I really like to exaggerate. So this hand is going to be real kind of arthritic, you know, um, and then start detailing after that. So that's what I would do. Hunter messages. Yay. What's up? Hey, Mike. All right. Hey, watch it, Sammy. Hey, Sammy. What's going on, man? Holler at me. Speaking of mentoring, that's one of my, uh, it's one of the fellows that I've been uh, doing sessions with. Damn standard on hold edge. Very useful. Golly, I missed a lot of stuff. Okay, so true story. Um, great thing about Stylus League is Bradley is on top of the chat, so I never get this far behind. Uh, so you should come over there on Friday nights and you get all the questions that I miss here answered there. Just saying. Some real zombies. This is a cool Captain America zombie thing here.
Uh, I don't really need to, for this to extend out too far. Um, I'm going to kind of hide it in the edges of the mask uh, and the, the skull that's already there, which is kind of, you know, a nice little, nice little thing about zombies is their skin looks kind of jacked up, so you can hide the edges pretty easily. I'm a little quiet, sorry guys, I'm just trying to figure this out. So, let's see if I can get back on these questions here. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so for the brush I'm using right now, it's the clay... Um, it's a clay buildup, which if you press comma on your keyboard to get your your um, <clears throat> to your brushes and glow go under clay, it's going to be located in here. I just kind of added it to my interface to use. Oh, gouge. Yeah, there's so many of these brushes that I've never even really messed around with, but gouge sounds like what the... This is cool. I like this brush. Kind of digs in in layers. Let's, um... Oh. You hold. Oh, it's gonna build it up. I don't want to build it up. I'll dig it in.
So um, definitely starting to look a little more zombie-ish, which is cool. Let's save him. So now I'm just going to kind of sketch in what I want this suit to look like, and then I can build it out later. But um, let's see. Thanks, IR. Thanks, Leonard. Everybody, thank you. Thank you. You guys are too kind. Fancy. <laughs> they are fancy muscles. Yeah. I can't wait to like dig into those and like tear them down. That's going to be fun. Uh, can you give me your brush? Which brush are you talking about? Let's see. When do you recommend to use subdivisions? Um, you're talking about Dynamesh and when do you subdivision? So I always do, like I did with that bird, I like to do a, like a really kind of loose sketch of what it's going to look like. And for that, I'll use Sculptures Pro or Dynamesh, right? And then once I like it, I will um, Z-remesh it and step down to the lower subdivision levels. Like even this could be lower than it is. This is what, well, it's 8,000 points. Yeah, so, you know, I'll step down as low as I can. Like if I wanted to have UVs or whatever for this guy. And then, um, I can divide and and it'll be nice and clean because I can smooth it out and, and do all kinds of stuff to make it look really, you know, really nice and clean. Did I say nice and clean twice? Nice and clean. Three times the charm. All right, I want to bend this neck some more, actually. See, because I'm doing this, I'm going to want to, let's do this solo. I'll really smooth out this mask. And that way the transition isn't as, as rough. I don't want to mess up all these nice veins that I have going on here. step up it's cleaner uh, when I say step up I mean go up in subdivision levels it's cleaner than if it were um, if I did that with a high subdivision level there'd be more there to destroy really Shout out to Pablo Muniz for the really helpful uh, YouTube video he just made, kind of showcasing the new 2021.7 20, uh, features. Um, Pablo is awesome. Like his stuff is crazy. I'm gonna reach out to him too, probably get him next year, or at least see if uh, he wants to come on the show next year uh, for Stylus League. But um, 
Man, oh man, I love his stuff. So let's see how I'm doing on time. Pretty good on time today. All right, let's get into figuring out this costume. I'm gonna get rid of these layers. Um, layer, delete, yes. So for the costume, let me get that as well. Let's see, I think I had it on here somewhere. I do not. So I'm just going to kind of sketch out what I want this costume to look like for him. Uh, why is... Oh, I must have turned off local. Yeah, that's why. Solo him. Actually, no, let's do this. The good thing about doing it like this is if I mess up, I just redraw the line. I don't have to worry about messing up the uh, topology or anything like that. So I usually like to sketch out my stuff first. 
have this going before? I guess I didn't think it out. Oh, I know what it was. Got this going here. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is kind of go for an old school cap mixed with an MCU Captain America costume. So um, probably do like the little fish scales on his, uh, you know, selected parts of the cost on the blue part. That's what I want to do. Star needs work, but whatever. Uh, good enough. Let's see. Hey, thanks, the, uh, Thiago. Andy Nichols, what's up? Thanks, man. Jason Forties. What is your printer? 3D, 3D printer. Um, I have the Photon. What is it? Any Cubic 3D. Oh my god. Anycubic. It's easier to type it. Photon. Mono. X is the one I have. What's up, Attendant Slug? Lego Man. I want to be like you, man. A dope name. Can you explain how to properly merge the muscles planes to get good transition between volumes? Yikes, that's technical. Um, I usually look at it and just keep doing it until it doesn't look wrong. Um, and I'm serious. Like, I'm, I don't know anatomy like that, for real. Uh, so I just usually have one of these handy in addition to some really good, you know, books. And, uh... Mood boards also, like some really good mood boards as well. Um, I look at other sculptors' work, and um, like this Wolverine is amazing. Uh, Savage Wolverine is just sick. So I was looking at that, and I have anatomy reference. Like boards that have a ton of anatomy. So that's kind of how, how I do my thing. But yeah, the, the whole technical, I would say if you want to know how to do it the right way, probably looking at something like, uh, you know, some Andrew Carr's type of classes or um, what's the name of the other guy that does, uh, 
what's his bodies in motion what's that guy's name he's amazing too um, anybody who knows that let me know I forget his name but yeah there's some really good ref out there in classes for uh, anatomy. Scott Eaton Scott Eaton is that it yeah Scott Eaton. yep good job thanks mr. Zeus Never gonna get the star right. It doesn't really matter. There's like so many ways for me to do the star. I just wanted to get it on his chest. All right, so there's that. Yeah, if you wanna know how to do it right, check out Scott Eaton, check out, um, you know, Andrew Cars, Ryan Kingsland is a beast when it comes to anatomy. There's a whole bunch of people who are doing it right. I just do it until it's like, not obviously wrong, you know what I'm saying? And this is not done, so I'm sure I'm gonna have like some, what I like to call anatomy Nazis telling me the parts that are really wrong. Um, that's okay. Come on, baby, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna have the old school gloves on him too. Uh, they kind of flare out. I like those as well. I can make those while I'm in here with you guys. Actually, those are kind of easy. So this is the way I did that Cyclops is I just kind of drew on top of him and figured out, um, you know, where everything should go. And then, let's show you the latest, let's see, load tool. I think I worked on him a little bit since the last time I was with you guys. Um, Yeah, so then, you know, eventually it'll turn out to be something where I have everything all kind of figured out. I gotta finish this, man. I start things and I don't finish them. I'm gonna finish it, I promise. I gotta finish the bishop. I got so many things to finish. Thanks, CG Dreams. All right, what did I miss here? Do you have any courses? Did you have any courses? Yeah, um, I have a anti-venom um, tutorial. It's like a 10 video set that I'm selling on my art station. Um, you can get it there and Gumroad. But uh, my art station is just at Mike T Artworks. And uh, it's anti-venom. And it's like 10 hours worth of the process, everything that I do to get my guys to where I want them to be. Da, 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 da. Hey man, whenever I try to do the surface details like skin pores or fabric details, I always end up dividing each mesh. But yeah, I mean, you kind of you kind of do. That's why it makes sense to isolate the parts that are going to have those like really high frequency details 
and then um, and then when you subdivide those, you don't have to worry about, you know, if it's only his face and his arms that's exposed. Like say you're doing a Wolverine and he's got his suit on. Um, I like to make a duplicate of whatever the um, upper body is and split it off. And then I'll just um, do the exposed skin parts. I don't know why it shouldn't matter that you subdivide it up so, so much. Like ZBrush doesn't care. You can have 20 or 30 million polygons on a decent rig and, uh, and it's still okay, but it bothers me. So I try to keep it low. Like I think this whole thing now, yeah, we're at 8.6 million, but that's because I have duplicates of the body and stuff. Like I could probably get rid of this, 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 this. And, uh, oh, I have these other, <laughs> I've got these other things I'm not even using. Yeah. So anyway, if I was to get rid of all this stuff, it would be much, much smaller. Anyway. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, you know, kind of what happens. What would you recommend to me? Um, yeah. So that, try that, see how that works out. Ba, 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 seven Howard. Oh, yeah, let's just break down on you. Yeah, there's so many, so many really great people who were, they're doing it upright. You know what I mean? Thanks, Hal. Hal 9000, you scare me. All right. Um, what else? So then I could figure out seams and stuff later. I don't want to do all that, but let's get the um, the stripes. Let's get the white stripes and the red stripes on here too. If you guys aren't already, check out the um, uh, the new season of Wu Tang is fantastic. I am a fan, big fan of the show. Man, I need more music on here. It's like playing the same things over and over. Sorry, guys. Skip that. I don't know why I drew that in there. Like the the forms are there. It's going to do that automatically. I don't. It's not bugging. I'm so used to painting things. Is that solo it out? Get back. You're not going to be able to see that for now, so I don't care. Thanks, Renders FX. Nice, welcome back. So 
so I'm new here. What are these illustrations for? Do they get printed? Yeah, so um, the reason that my stuff says illustration by way of, let's say, let's say, illustration by way of sculpture is because I am an illustrator and I started using ZBrush to help me out. So I'll show you these, these are cool. I'm actually working on some new ones. I'm gonna be working on some new ones, but um, so this is the kind of stuff that I normally do. Um, this is my, my stuff. I got some Spider-Man cards too. And I found that um, when I was doing stuff like the G.I. Joe boxes, it was um, hard for me to figure out the way that the light kind of went around all the gear. So like say I'm working on this guy, you know, he's got all these straps and packs and all this stuff. And when I was trying to paint it, I always had a hard time kind of figuring out that stuff. So I was like, let me start messing with ZBrush and sculpting it. And um, so I did these. This was the original anti-venom anti that I did this new sculpt um, tutorial based on. Like these are the cards for Upper Deck. But anyway, that's why I started using ZBrush to help me out with my sculpture. So this is not a sculpt, or a, this is not a um, an illustration. Uh, however, I could use it to, to do something like this if I wanted to. This is another piece that I just finished. So, really, I'm a painter that likes to sculpt. You know what I'm saying? Um, not the other way around. I'm not a sculptor that also paints. I'm a painter that enjoys sculpting. So now I'm fortunate enough to do stuff like this for Sideshow and Nike, stuff like that. Anyway, that was a long answer to a short question. Sorry about that. Ba ba ba, Leo Filler. What's going on, man? Shine Ganesh, where are you gonna place your pin? <laughs> so I don't think this is gonna be a a pin holder anymore. I, I have the one on top of my Cintiq, so I'm just gonna use that. So you make these ZBrush illustrations as references? Uh, sometimes it depends. If I'm doing um. If I'm doing something for Hasbro or like Upper Deck or whatever, then I will do a really quick version of this. So like if I step down, right? I might do something that's like this much detail and then I'll do my paint over. Um, so just quickly show you guys this, let's say art station. So if we are looking at this, um, where is it? This guy. So I had to do this for a tutorial for my, for my students. So I just did a quick Z-Sphere rig uh, or Z-Sphere um, kind of a maquette, sculpted it up, and then the paint over looked like this when it was done. Right. So I already had a lot of the forms there already. I didn't have to think of what they'd look like. I could just kind of paint over them and you know, put in the uh, the fish poop afterwards. That's right, I, I did that. I'm very immature for my age. All right, anyway. Yeah, so this might be a painting, I don't know. But right now I, I'm probably 100% gonna print this out, 3D print it, and have it sitting on my desk because it's been sitting in my head for years now. Now let's get those gloves. And this is good because I can, uh, 
I can work on the gloves and not detail the crap out of the hands and then extrude those or extract those rather later on. We got brain, y'all. Sitting there, floating in space with birds. What you know about it? All right, clone that. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Gonna use a slice curve to kind of get it where I want it to be. I don't want. Delete it. And rather than Z remeshing this whole thing, I'm just going to clean up these edges with the um, Z modeler. I believe. Yeah, now let's do that. Do some stitching. Bridge the holes here. Break on that beat, go and pray. Now, because this had like uh, the topology kind of accounting for the um, for the elbow, I'm just gonna delete as you know those kind of random groups there. Yeah, delete these. All right. Oh man, this is not good here.
All right, bear with me a second here. I'm not great at this. Enough. So now I'm gonna give this some thickness and then we'll have our glove. Have you ever worked with collectibles? Yeah, Leo. Um, actually doing some stuff with Sideshow now. Uh, got some things coming out. One of these days. Uh, how old were some of those cards when you were showing you then? Um, the Spider-Man cards, I think I did those back in, I don't know, like 2015, 2016. And then the um, Juggernaut and Sunspot, those were, I want to say like three years ago. And I'm about to do some more um, cards for them. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Nice music. Thanks. I'm on DC. So, thank you. Thank you. I brought friends. Nice. Yo, uh, Dom1, bring them tomorrow to Stylus League. Check out Stylus League on YouTube. That's, uh, that's where I do my personal stream on Friday nights. Okay, so now let's uh, extract, not extract, let's give this some thickness. Go back to my Z Modeler. I love Z Modeler, if you guys are wondering. I use it a lot. Extrude all polys. Oh, give it some thickness. Whoa, why did that happen? Or in fact, let's not do that. I don't want to do that. I'm going to just close the holes on this. There you go. And that way I don't have to uh, worry about deformation or anything like that. These will be my gloves. And these go back to this and paste. gonna uh, inflate these just a little bit to get them to stick out above the, the fingers. Also use dynamic subdivisions to see what it looks like.
Now, what uh, what I'll do on the other glove because it makes way more sense is um, I'll just deflate the fingers because like you're not gonna see them anyway. So it's just silly the way that I'm doing this. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do it this way. I do want the gloves to feel chunky like old school, so I'm gonna give them more volume. Um, but in the meantime, this is not the. This is not the way, as the Mandalorian would say. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Alright, this is stupid. I don't want to do this. Not gonna do it this way. This is taking forever. I always feel like I get stuck on fingers on the streams and I spend way too much time on hands. Personally, I don't want to be doing hands on the stream. I feel like my time can be used elsewhere. So... Let's go back over to this one. And then I'll just deflate the fingers on this. There you go. Hide them suckers. The only reason I'm not just getting rid of the hands altogether is because I want to, um, I think I want to have parts where the, um, the glove is torn away and you see like some really gnarly fingers underneath. So that's why I did that. Even here, you know, having some of that sticking out is kind of interesting. Brains player. Okay, what I miss here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, we're on Twitch too. Same thing on Twitch. Dialist League. 
are you not using panel loops to give thickness to the gloves, bro? Um, I don't really like panel loops. I always have a problem with, uh, I always have a problem with the fact that they're kind of split apart, not how I want them. So I usually do, um, I use the existing mesh and, uh, and then I'll kind of draw out my panel loops with something like the curve flat. Um, so now if I wanted to go and detail this some more, let's see, let's save this because I haven't saved in forever. Forever, ever? Mike T in the house, what's up B? How did you become a 3D artist? Um, I, it was a necessity. I, like I said, I, I'm an illustrator, so. If you go to my website, which is also, everything is my T artworks for me, but um, you'll see that I've done like movie posters and toy packaging and stuff like that. And I needed a way to, um, I needed just another tool to help me figure out how to, uh, how to get my lighting and stuff down for my characters. So I think I was doing something for a civil war um, and I needed good reference. It's like, you know what, that ZBrush is cool. I knew somebody, like there's a guy that I used to be friends, well I'm still friends with him, but um, this dude uh, that was also doing Hasbro stuff and um, he was using ZBrush and I was like, that's fresh man, what is that? And uh, he showed me, and I was like, "Yo, I gotta, I gotta work that into the into the workflow a little bit." And I did, and I haven't looked back since. I didn't talk about it. Um, I liked it. Actually, liked it a lot. Um, the what if episode? It was very fresh. But um, yeah, I didn't talk about it in same pixel. All right, so now just to kind of clean this up a little bit, the good thing about this is I don't have subdivisions yet. So I can go in and, um, and just kind of clean up some of this. I like to keep things as low as I can in order to um, keep the topology nice and clean. Edge loop, I want to edge loop this, edge loop, okay, and I want to mask uh, this, all right, and I'll do one at a time, Let's do one more edge loop. Push this in a little bit. So, um, 
let's see, extreme poly football. I want to get a bit of a, a raised edge on this thing. So, let's do this. It's not probably uh, edge loop complete, is what I want to do. Complete, complete. That might be a little too old school. All right. Anyway, Ramel, what's up, man? Yo, Ramel is crazy. He's so good, man. Very amazing sculptor. If you guys don't know Ramel Chopper's work, you need to check it out. Uh, and Jay, how many hours? Um, it depends. Like. It really depends. I can spend, uh, let's, let's put it this way. If I'm getting paid for the job, I spend way less time than if I'm doing it for myself and I'm way more likely to finish <laughs> than if I'm, if I'm doing it for myself. That's the, the sad, hard facts. In fact, that's part of the reason why Danny Williams and I, um, Point Pusher, decided to make Stylus League in the first place. 
because we found we were finishing our client work and never finishing our own work. So we're like, we should do this thing where we have to do it in front of people that we don't have a choice but to finish. And that's how that got started. So what I'll probably end up doing with this face is I'll kind of, after I figure out how messed up I want it to be, I'm going to probably Boolean it together <clears throat> and then build the mask on top by doing an extract and then kind of doing the same deal that I've done with the, uh, you know, the gloves and whatnot. Oh, now these gloves don't have any subdivision levels, so I'm not going to start detailing them yet. I'm trying to decide if I want that lip on them. I don't think I do. Easy enough to get rid of. I could just use my. Let's just go back. Oh, no, because I moved it around. All right, let's just delete these loops. Clean it up. It's not supposed to be one thing. All right, uh, here you go. Um, I want to have a little more geo around the, nah, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. So then I can accept uh, 
the gloves and um, turn off dynamic and start to give it some actual subdivision levels. And then start to um, start to sculpt the details. Get some cloth folds and such up in here. That crease is too tight. Let me turn that down to one. Yeah, it's better. Right? Subdivisions four, apply. All right, now I can sculpt. Yeah, 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 definitely. I have crashes. Definitely. Turn up your quick saves and save frequently. Rap is great. Love Tupac. I do also. I'm a fan of hip hop also. It might just want to say I really love the Stylus League videos. Hey, thanks, B. Yeah, everything is online, so you can check them out later. Thanks, Anjay. Thanks, Ramel. What's inside the head? I'm glad you asked. Baby birds are up inside the head, son. Look at those baby birds. Nesting in that brain. I always loved this Captain America on the Marvel Zombies. Like, that was always... The baby birds was made it the guy that I was definitely going to do. So that's what I got so far. Hey, uh, the brain is the bird nest. So let's make these gloves look a little less crappy. Gosh, just moving a couple of brushes out of position makes me forget where everything is. It's way more organized, I'll give you that. Like Pablo has, that dude is organized, man. So now I just have to get used to being organized. Because I straight up jacked his, uh, his layout. I just paused it and copied all of his stuff. Sorry, Pablo.
I like to keep that low subdivision level because if I want to, I can make some drastic changes and it stays clean. Like I just, I hate it when the surface gets all wobbly, you know, like it, it doesn't look intentional at all. So. fingers a little bit. Thanks, Ramel. Thanks, Insane. This glove's gonna have to be remeshed. It just got weird around the knuckles. That's why good topology matters when you're sculpting and stuff. All right, I'm just gonna fix this real quick. I got about another 15 minutes left, guys. If you have any questions for me, for me about anything, um, if you want to see more, check us out tomorrow. Like I said, uh, stylistly, we've got Eric Sosa for our final week. And we're working on Cthulhu, which, spoiler alert, I don't like, I don't like Cthulhu as much as I thought I was going to. It's not fun for me. Just saying.
I'm gonna fudge it on this glove, just so you know. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new The ten crack commandments. Oh, it's that. Biggie. Quick um, extract. Where do I want to do another one? Maybe I'll do one for the blue stuff. Let's do that. 15 minutes left. It's saved.
I'm going to use that new mask sharpen feature too after I get this worked out. So, new 2021.7 feature coming up, y'all. that comes across. Ah, ah, ah. Let's see what this Can you tell me how I learned ZBrush from the O? Who's the O? X who? Thanks, Insane. See you, man. Comics Legend, what's your preferred method to create a panel to create panel lines? Uh, I use the curve flat snap, and uh, and then I draw out all of the panels. So like if we look over, let's see, go to So if you look at this one right here, um, the panels, uh, all the uh, the loops and everything are, they should be on their own deal. So like if we solo it out, uh, solo, 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 it's clean. Like everything is clean. If I turn off dynamic, it's like crazy clean. Now it took a long time because after I drew those out, I had to, um, you know, join them at the right place and then add in, um, you know, holding lines and stuff like that. But the good thing about it is when it's done, it's like razor crisp. So you see that, you know, it looks like this anyway. Uh, where was I? This one. Uh, so Michael asked something you probably explained earlier. It was a big chunk of the stream, but definitely. Um, wonder how you do those linear on the surface. Comments on the Thanks. Um, are you talking about the uh, these lines here on? Cyclops's side because I use those with the new 20 21.7 um uh what's it called um, I used the interpolate to get those so I drew out a line and then I drew out another line using my damn standard and then I set the number of steps and it filled in I had to do them like you know, sections at a time in order to get it to go in the right direction. But, you know, again, if you don't mind taking your time, it comes out way better. So look how clean this is as compared to down here where I just use an alpha. I'm going to redo this to look like the one up here. So that's how I did those lines. If that's the lines that you're talking about. 
uh, penalize not extrudes, but indented in. Um, oh, that was panel lines um, on the Cyclops, or panel loops rather. I was trying to do a Daniel Bell technique for that. So that's the way that, um, that's the way that I did the, uh, the groups here. So I kind of did a hybrid where I made the panel groups by making poly groups and then using panel loops to make the groups, poly group, whatever the hell it is, poly panel loops, panel loops. And then I made the um, piping by drawing it out with the uh, curved tubes and cleaning it up. It's a whole thing then. I was experimenting on that one. So let's clean this up real quick, see if I can't get a, um... and I got this guy outside blasting the music now. Nice. Boost mask. All right, so now if I sharpen the mask, let's see what happens. Let's sharpen, sharpen that mask. Okay. So now I'm gonna do a duplicate. Um, I'm going to. Um, I mean, I probably didn't. I didn't have to do a duplicate. I don't need that. I don't need that. I just did extract it. Extract. Don't crash, please. Okay, so that's too thick. That's not bad. All right, so I'll accept this. Accept. Down here, solo it out. Then polish by features. Now, what I actually want to do here, because it's way cleaner, is I'm going to uh, group this, right? Now I have, I should have a front and a back, which I do. Um, let's move this over here, almost out of time, almost out of time. Delete lower, delete hidden, delete hidden, okay. Auto group. Yeah. Delete hidden. Actually, before I do, I'm gonna edge loop this. I'll make a edge loop. Okay. Now delete hidden. All right. Now I want to Z remesh this. Let's see if it works. I'll duplicate it first. Okay. See what happens. Light up Phoenix behind him like he's becoming the Phoenix. Oh, wow. That's a lot of layers right there. Um, oh, you're talking about the uh, Cyclops. Um, okay, so this actually, right, if I get rid of all of this random stuff, this is not terrible. Let's try it one more time. Is that a... No, you know what? This is not actually that bad. All right, so I'm gonna delete 
the the rogue polygons. Delete hidden. And then I'll use this to make my um, uh, to make my uh, suit. Want to clean? All right. I delete these. Delete the polygon. Delete that. Yeah, so there's a little cleanup involved, but I'd rather spend the time doing this and have it just be really, really clean. So now I can take this whole thing, give it some thickness. I know I still have some polygons that are going to make it wild, but, uh, you know, give this some thickness. Maybe what I'll do is I will, uh, let's duplicate. Jeez. Actually, I'm going to flip it and invert it inward. Or, I'm sorry, uh, extrude it inward. Neat, man. Uh, extrude. Extrude. There you go. So now it's got some thickness, right? I have a couple of wild polys up there, but now this is like crazy clean, and I can, um, you know, crease the edges. Let's do that. Let's do a crease all. Turn down the crease level to like one. Crease all. Let's see if it gets the edges. I don't want to be saw. I want to use just the edges. So. Crease. Edge loop complete. Just want to get these openings. Oh no. Yeah. Just want to get these openings. And I'll have to clean up that upper part. So now if I hit um, dynamic, see this is like super crispy now. Oh, don't crash, please don't crash, wait. And because I um, inverted it, or not inverted, but extruded it inward, I can copy this piece, let's copy this, and I can project back the details from this onto the new top. So, uh, paste, All right, let's uh, go ahead and let's uh, give it, let's say four, that, apply, Yeah, I don't want to apply it yet, because what's going to happen is I'm going to have to clean up that, that top part. But I would just project it back, and um, and then I can start, you know, I'd have it nice and clean, and I can start making all of the cut lines and all the stuff on this piece, rather than messing with his, uh, his original part. All right, so anyway, it's 4 o'clock. Um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dip out, but you guys have been great. Um, if you want to see more, let's do a real quick BPR on this. Let's see if we get something looking good. All right. So, um, yeah. If you guys want to see more, please join us on Stylus League. And uh, if anybody's interested in my Anti Venom uh, tutorial, it's on my Gumroad. All right. Take care, everybody. Stay safe, and I will see you next time. Peace!